Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss characteristics of turbulence and to discuss the turbulent velocity profile. We're also going to look at some equations for the turbulent velocity profile. So characteristics wise, um, turbulent flow, as you know, has a high Reynolds number, as we talked about um, in the last couple of videos. So for a laminar flow, we had a Reynolds number, which was less than 2100. Um, that, that's for pipe flow, that is. Um, and for a turbulent flow, we're looking at a Reynolds number greater than 4000 for pipe flow. It's a rotational flow. It has flow variations that appear to be random with time and space. So for a certain fluid element, we've got local acceleration occurring there. Um, that, so that's a change in velocity with respect to time. We've also got changes in velocity uh, with respect to some uh, point in space as well. Uh, it also has high friction drag in comparison to laminar flow. Um, so we've got a higher value for friction uh, for our turbulent flows compared to our laminar flows. Um, it has a much more complex uh, velocity profile. So the laminar fully developed flow, we have that parabolic distribution. We came up with an equation. We came up with an average of velocity. But the turbulent, turbulent velocity profile is a lot uh, less understood. Um, there isn't some perfect equations there. A lot of the equations are determined by experiments. Um, so there's still a lot of um, a, a lot of things that are unclear with with turbulent flow. Um, so it's basically we, we break it into three regions, and that's essentially based on the distance from the wall. So we we sort of start off with the wall, and we've got our viscous sublayer. Um, that's the region that is very